Welcome. Robert says hi. Hey, Britt. Glad you can join us live. Hey, Sierra. Hey, Sam Brown. Glad you all are on here. Welcome to the others whose names I can't see or have not seen when you logged on. Welcome, welcome to a little bit of evening inspiration. I'm glad you can join us. Glad you can join me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Monday, the second Monday of a new year in February. How are you doing, Sam? Glad to have you on. <laughs> I think, I'm not sure who's given all those hearts. Oh, that's probably Robert giving those hearts. <laughs> so thank you. Reach Arlene. Hey, Arlene. Glad you can join us. Hello, hello, hello. Coming to you from Surprise, Arizona this evening. Glad to have you all on. This is exciting. Um, uh, the consistency is good um, because it keeps you accountable. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, as the title says, um, we are talking about following the instructions and our victory is guaranteed. My name is Tisha Linton Rose, uh, coming to you, like I said, from Arizona by way of St. Thomas, by way of Maryland, by way of California. So it's glad to be on here, glad to be on here. Last week, we talked about being strong and courageous um, and we were talking about Joshua. Well, guess what? We're going to stay on Joshua again. Uh, Joshua has a lot of lessons that we can learn for life, even today. So in Joshua, uh, VI nice. Yes, we have a lot of VI and VI by marriage and um, other folks that we don't know. Welcome, Julia. Glad you can join us uh, this evening. So follow the instructions. Your victory is guaranteed. That came to me yesterday in terms of thinking about what will I share with you this evening. So as I said, we are still in Joshua um, because he has given us great lessons. Um, and as we know, God tells Joshua that they will be victorious before giving him the instructions of what to do, what to follow. And we can see that in Joshua chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. As we know, Joshua is leading the children of Israel uh, based on Moses' death. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. So God is telling them, the victory is yours. I've given it to you. So for us, that should be an assurance that we win and we can stand on the scriptures. I can do all things through Christ. Uh, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. All things are possible with God. So those are promises that we can stand on to ensure our victory that we win. The people of Jericho knew that from what Rahab told the spies back in chapter 2, uh, when Joshua sent out spies into Jericho to spy out the land, um, Rahab told them in chapter 2, verses 9 through 11, and she said unto the men who Joshua sent out, I know that the Lord has given you the land. She knew it. <laughs> and that your terror has fallen upon us and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea, and she just went on and on. So all of what the Lord had done for them before, they were terrified. So they had specific instructions for even after the victory, as we will see. VI is still having Wi-Fi issues. Um, you can hang in there as long as you can, and then you can catch the replay when you get to those hot spots. Um, VI is coming back strong. Uh, we continue to pray and be prayerful. So thank you for, for hanging in there with us. In Joshua 6, verses 3 to 5, um, God said, And ye shall come past the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days. So for six days they had to walk around Jericho. 
Some of you may know this from the Bible stories uh, from Sunday school, but if not, it's a good story to read. And seven priests welcome Javin Brow. Uh, glad you can join us. Seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns, and the seventh day ye shall come past the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye shall hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Now, these are some clear instructions, um, hard instructions, because you have to walk around a city, large city. We don't know how large, but you just have to walk six days, just walk around it one time, and then on the seventh day, six times. Um, you know, how many actually, let's see, yes, seventh day, did I say that right? want to be seven times, seven times on the seventh day, want to be accurate. So that's tedious. However, he told him, this is all you have to do, walk. And then on the last time, shout. So following in the, stru in the instructions will guarantee our victory. And as we know, or we can read, if we don't know, the walls came down. He went on to give them further instructions. And the city shall be accursed even it and all that are therein to the Lord. Only Rahab the harlot, yes, shall live. She and all that are in her house, because she hid the messengers that we sent. So you hear the saying, God reigns on the just and on the unjust. The sinner can be saved because of um, the, uh, the accommodations made. So in this case, she believed God. She believed that God was fighting for Israel. Uh, so she's like, I'm gonna hide you. And she said, because I did this, Hey, can you save me? And they were saved. And of course they came to, uh, you know, repentance in the end. And he says, and ye in any wise, keep yourselves from the cursed thing, lest ye make yourselves a curse. When you take of the accursed thing and make the camp of Israel, a curse and trouble it. All the silver and gold and vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. So he says, you're going to, after you walk, you're going to win because the walls are going to come down. Don't touch the cursed thing. Leave it there. Burn everything up. Everyone, kill everyone except Rahab and her family and you'll be fine. So let's make it easy for ourselves for following God's instructions. He gives us 66 books in the Bible. I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. JDB 11, thank you for joining. I'm a believer, so I'm going to follow the word. I'm going to stand on the word of God because he is our source. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. He is our refuge, our strong tower, and all those promises in the Bible we can stand on. So when he gives us instructions, uh, so tithes. We will reap a harvest, give offerings. He will pour out blessings we don't have room to receive. So he gives us instructions in the words. So from this story that we're looking at tonight with Joshua and the people of Israel, we just need to follow the instructions and our victory is guaranteed. So my challenge to you, what has God told you? What has God instructed you to do that you may not be doing or you may not be uh, doing it the way he has instructed you to do it? I encourage you to get in line, move forth. Um, I heard one uh, minister from my church, um, you know, mention that she was, you know, given directions to share the word and hadn't been doing it. And actually, I uh, made that observation and I was like, oh, OK, haven't been on and Yes, life was good, but life could have been better. And whatever challenges there were or were not within a span of about a year, because the instructions were not followed, she's come back and made that accurate. So there's the daily accountability. So God has given us gifts. He has given us talents and he wants us to carry them out um, because our gifts, our talents are not just for us. They are to bless the body of Christ. They are to bless the nation, bless the world. So whatever it is, we want to do it. We want to make sure that we are doing it. Okay. Those of you on here, how many of you have instructions that you haven't followed that you want to share that you want uh, prayer about? 
Okay. I encourage you to do what God has told you to do. You can't lose. You can't lose. There may be some road bumps. There may be some detours, but God is faithful. He's faithful to his word. I've proven him and I continue to prove him. So I encourage you. Um, the victory is already guaranteed. Okay. The victory is guaranteed. So I encourage you, whatever it is, you may be scared, you may be trembling, but do it in fear. Do it anywhere. He's going to equip you. He's going to put people in your path to be a resource uh, for you and to help you uh, carry out what he has told you to do. All righty. I'm not seeing any comments. I don't know if it's just how my screen is set up. Um, I see the hearts, which are wonderful. Appreciate them. Um, but everyone is quiet today in terms of communicating. But remember, follow the instructions. And I think next Monday, because we're here once a week, uh, we're not here every day. Um, you might see me pop on here on Saturday and or Sunday um, as I'll be traveling for my book signing uh, to California. But once a week, we come on and we give you some instructions. We give you some encouragement. And that encouragement is to me first because um, I understand them. Um, so as I was saying, next week, Monday, we, we may finish up with Joshua because as God gave them instructions and they followed them and they got the victory, when we don't follow all the instructions as he has given, there is a price. So next week, we'll talk about the price. And then we might be through with Joshua. But no, from last week, you can be strong. You can be courageous. And this week, follow the instructions that God has given you. I thank you all for joining. Um, the hashtag in there is a book of prayers. And we are closer to the sign-in. It's been amazing. It's been great. And I'm excited uh, for this weekend. Um, the books that came here uh, to Arizona, they're already gone. <laughs> this is not a shy audience. I don't even receive that. <laughs> yes, Brittany, you got yours. Thank you. I do pray that all goes well in California. I'm just so excited to be going um, from one of the previous broadcasts. If you're new to watching this, I have a previous broadcast talking about the vision board. On my vision board is nine states that I am praying and prayerful and um, desiring to be invited to speak um, and to share, to encourage, um, and to um, encourage this book. This book, A Book of Prayers, is birthed out of uh, my intercession, uh, social media intercession, primarily on Facebook, but also texts from 2010 to 2016. Um, so I've compiled it. And yes, it, <laughs> do I need an armor bearer? <laughs> sure, come on. Um, welcome, Tony. Glad you can join us this evening. <laughs> so this book is birthed out of that. Um, it's dated based on when it was prayed. However, there are prayers that you can pray anytime. And it's prayers for every season because it's every subject. Um, firm believer in prayer. I know God answers prayer. Um, so if you can't pick up a copy yet, pray. Pray that it will be a blessing to souls, that it will save souls, encourage souls, um, and that God will get the glory out of it. So I'm excited for that. I'm glad for you all continual support. Those of you who are new to the Periscope, this broadcast. Thank you for joining. Thank you for staying. Those of you who are still on there, share it with your followers. Meet us back here on Monday evenings. Uh, look for an alert pop up on your phone. You may get a notification if I'm able to go live, depending on what the scene looks like at the bookstore on uh, Saturday and then two other locations uh, I will be at on Sunday. So uh, your book, uh, you got in under the pre-order, Arlene. So you, your book will probably be delivered tomorrow uh, before I fly. But um, all the books from here have been uh, sold and accounted for. Uh, we have another hundred in California that I'm prayerful that will be sold out. 
and then we'll have to order um, another set already for orders that came in after. So I'm excited about that. People are ordering seven and three and four at a time to give to um, family members, friends. So definitely, definitely do that. My website is up, so you'll see me talking about that. Masio365, welcome. Uh, you'll see my website uh, soon. It's going live because in addition to being an author, um, I'm a speaker, as well as an event planner. So T-Rose Productions is the event planning business that I have. I've been planning events for 20 years. Uh, my first wedding was in 1998. Uh, so to this day, it's been 20 years. So uh, we've made it official last year, and we're going forth. So I'm excited about the clients, the contracts, the weddings, the conferences, the retreats, everything that will take place uh, in this year and beyond. And there's some other things that are coming. Uh, so know that God is faithful. Know that you are victorious in him. Know that you can follow the directions. Peter, thanks for joining. Glad you can join us. Um, know that you are victorious. All right. So I'll encourage you and I'll always challenge you to what are you not doing that you should be doing? My daughter's coming down the stairs. Um, she <laughs> is going Sorry. to sneak by truck man. Thank you for joining. Um, but do be encouraged. God is faithful. I've seen him move and um, that he will continue to move. So thank you for all. We're on here 15 to about 20 minutes. We don't hold you long. We just give you some nuggets to take you through the week that you can chew on. You can come back. You can view it. You can share it. And um, until the next time, have an amazing week. Uh, thank you for your prayers as I travel. Um, and I pray for you that you will be blessed and that you will be prosperous in what you put your hands to do, especially if you're following those instructions. Is there an email to sign up, please? Um, in a few hours, you can go to info at TishaRose.com and that is the website that will be going live. Um, my company is T Rose Productions. Uh, for Tisha Rose, T-R-O-S-E, Productions with an S. And you can email if you want to email now, troseproductions1 at gmail.com. Okay? So as I said, I'm coming to you from Surprise, Arizona. First day on Periscope, T. Claude 07. Um, welcome. I'm here on Monday evenings to encourage, inspire most times. Uh, with the word of God, because that is the foundation. Uh, my cousin is amazing. He's always given me a super heart. Blessings be returned to you. So, a book of prayers. Feel free to get it. T Rose Productions one at gmail.com is my email address. Those of you who have already pre ordered books uh, prior uh, during the special, you will be getting them mailed out or hand delivered in February. Others will receive them in. March. So it pays to get in on the special if you can. Alrighty. So blessings to all of you. If you're just coming on, feel free to watch the replay and be encouraged. Y'all have an excellent, amazing evening and week until we meet again on next Monday. God bless you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.